All right, time to do some more Pokemon-related rankings. Uh, this time, this was requested a uh, Pokemon player characters and rivals. So let's let's go through it. I feel like all the 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 male player character designs kind of are boring as fuck. Uh, but we'll see, you know. All right, first off, we got Red, just classic Red. I mean, as a design, you know, it's fine. But I think what works in Red's favor uh, is that they've made him more like this stoic badass, and um, especially like when, you know with older Red and Sun and Moon, and you know, so that's kind of funny. So I'm gonna say it elevates it to a B. I think the concept of like a silent stoic protagonist is who like who like comes back as this badass champion is fun, even if the design is fine. Uh, Leaf, uh, you know, this is a cute design. Um, I think I like her hat the most. Uh, the, the white hat is fun. Kind of looks like a premiere ball. We'll say B rank for Leaf as well. It's just nice that we had got the option in Fire Red Leaf Green. Ethan. Just, uh, yep. Kid with the hat. Kid with the hat, and this time it's yellow. You know, I don't mind it. Like, at least the yellow kind of is a nice touch. So, B. Chris from Crystal. Yeah, I, I, I think the... M best characteristic of Chris is the blue hair. You don't see a lot of interesting hair colors in these designs uh, for the player characters, so we'll go B as well. Uh, and then Lyra from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, again, back to kind of funny hats. Or not funny hats, but I think this hat's pretty funny. Look at <laughs> B. Oh, all these kids are just yeah, they're they're fine. Now we got Brendan from Ruby Sapphire, and when I was a kid, definitely thought that was his hair, which I kind of like better. But now I realize it's like a dumb hat. But at least it's a very iconic design. So I'm going to say A tier for Brendan. At least I look at it and go, huh, that's like an interesting look. Uh, May, that's an S tier. That is just a really, really cute design. I love that the bandana kind of became like a ribbon over time into Omega Ruby. I think both these trainers have very solid sort of iconic uh, designs. Then we go into Diamond Pro with Lucas. I, this beret is always very goofy to me, and I think he looks like a big dork, but at least there's some character there, so I'm gonna say B tier. Dawn, very cute design. I like her cozy hat. Just that, that hat seems very nice and cozy. Uh, we're gonna say A tier for Dawn. Oh boy, here's where we get into, like, bunch of blue guys. Hilbert. First of all, what a name. Pick the most boring clothes you could, you know, it's a D tier? Like, I wear a blue jacket and a red hat, and that's cool. I, I get nothing from this. This looks like, just like an NPC. Hilda, I like, the, I like the design a lot. While not revolutionary, has more personality. She's got, I think, kind of like a spunky look to her. So I'm gonna say A tier for Hilda. Very short shorts though. That was certainly a decision. That was made. Uh, black 2, white 2. We got Nate. Uh, here, at least, the hair is a little interesting, right? Look at this, like, frondy hair uh, that's spilling out of the hat. So we'll say B tier. I think that's like, like the, that's like, that's a cute, cute decision to make him, a, differentiate him from fucking Hilbert. Rosa, that's a very, that's a very cute design. Uh, I'm gonna say, I like the hair, S tier. Those buns? That, I think the hair is great. Like, that's that's my favorite part of this. The outfit is cute, you know, but I think really having the iconic hair, and Hilda also has, like, iconic hair. Like, if you're going to make a playable character, give them some fun hair. Calum, who cares? He's the same as Hilbert, D tier. Serena, though, uh, this is, I think this is an A tier. First off, a blonde, you know, they're, I'm, all, usually we just get brown, black hair. Uh, so having a blonde protagonist is fun. Uh, honestly, her design is so good because, you know, when I played as the the male character in XY, uh, she really feels like, usually the rival, or like, if the, uh, if the other player character is your rival, they feel kind of generic. But Serena feels like a very, like, her design makes her look like a fully realized character. Like, it's very different, very fashionable, like this, I like the sunglasses, and yeah, like, I think uh, she stands out as like a very distinct design. Elio! Didn't know that was his name. Um, I guess you got two different ones. So, the original Elio from Sun and Moon, that's gonna be like a C tier. Like, at least he's got kind of a summery look. And then he gets more fun in Ultra Sun with this sort of 
even breezier look. Like, make him look like he's ready for swimming, and that's more fun. Same thing for so. Actually, I really like Celine. Celine, that the hat, that like reminds me of like a chicken's like the top of a chicken's head, and I, I think that I think a good silhouette for a character design is like very important. Um, you look at you look at Celine's sort of outline and go, oh yeah, that's the Sun and Moon girl. Because the clothes are, you know, cute, but nothing special. But that hat is really fun. So I'm going to say A tier. I actually am less interested in her in Ultra Sun, though. I think that's going to be like a B tier. Still, I like the summery look, but we're missing that chicken hat. I love that chicken hat. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Chase? This is like a fucking D tier. It's, a, it's like a less interesting red, if that were possible and elaine looks the same d tier they're just ah we're five we're five and we we got hats cool victor from sword and shield uh here we go this is a better boy design like got a cool funny hat it's not just like i don't know blue boy at least he's a red boy this time and he's got a hat it's a cozy hat so we'll say b tier for victor gloria very cute design we're gonna say A tier for Gloria. I love the pom pom hat. Like a, you know, a lot of her, a lot of people like headcanon her as Scottish because of her look, and I think that's really fun. Again, just cozy sort of sweater look. That's great. And then we got these new protagonists that are basically just uh, old timey uh, from Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, Lucas San. <laughs> um, you know, putting him in like a in like a old Japanese outfit that improves it. But not by much. I'm still going to say beat here. Don Chan, uh, I think, will uh, still be an A tier. But I do like the creativity of her hat is now like a almost like a kerchief or something. Like That's a very fun implementation. Uh, so A tier. Uh, so let's go into the rivals now. First off, we got blue from classic red and blue. Uh, this has always been a good design. Like... Like, Gary or Blue has always looked like a cocky shit. And I love rivals that are just assholes. So, A tier. This guy just is, has the definition of smell you later on his face. Trace from uh, Let's Go. Uh, who cares? Green Pants. C tier, I guess. Uh, Silver. That's gonna be an A tier. Like, this was a really fun twist. I'm like, okay, this guy's like straight up criminal. You know, he steals a Pokemon. He's got, like, emo, like, oh, I'm Giovanni's son. He's kind of a twerp, but I like his attitude, so A, A, A for attitude. Wally from Omega Ruby. Oh, this, this poor little sick boy. Um, I think his arc is not bad. Uh, like, oh, you know, he gets stronger and faces you in Victory Road or whatever. Um, but the design is good. It's a good design. So even though I'm not a fan of, like, oh, I'm just a little baby characters... I still have to acknowledge that it's a good design. Like, you, you see the character and there's, you definitely see his energy. So, I'll say B, B tier. Barry, he's fine. Like, I like his dumb green scarf. What was he, like, Genki? Just very, like, cheerful? I don't care. Like, I, I, I'm less interested in that archetype. I think he's got fun colors, but I'm gonna say C for Barry. I don't I don't really care. Charon from Black and White. Even though design-wise, you might say he's a little plain. I think that's kind of the point, because he's like a normal type gym leader in the second game. Uh, and I like the sort of serious, sort of studious type. You know, I think that's a fun archetype. We haven't, we never really had that, I think, before. He's not a dick. He's, you know, just a serious and, you know, hardworking so I'm gonna say A tier. I think that's really fun. Bianca, uh, cute design. She was, what was she just kind of cheerful though? Um, the design is good. The design will bring this up to an A, uh, especially the hat. I really like hats, I'm noticing. Like, fun, creative hats will really bring out a, a, a Pokemon trainer's design. And her colors are fun. Like, it's a nice contrast to Charon. I'm gonna say A tier. Q from Black 2 and White 2. I never played this one, actually. Uh, a friend of mine told me that Hugh reminded me him of me, like in his attitude of like, I guess he just wants to be the like you know, he's like hardworking, serious, wants to like you know improve himself. I like his look, like he looks like pretty no nonsense, but not like but like confident, kind of cocky. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eighth here. He seems he seems awesome. Oh boy, the fucking 
nerd squad. All right, XY, we got Shauna. At the very least, I think Shauna has a cute design. I'll say A tier. I think, you know, I like that she has, if, if Serena is the sort of stylish, fashionable one, Shauna is like the little, the girly, cutesy one. And that's, you know, that's a fun, that's also something we haven't really had in, in Arrival. Like, the closest I think we got was like Bianca, maybe, but it's a fun contrast. Tierno, good design, but nothing, I barely remember this character, so, uh, C tier. Trevor, who the fuck was this? D tier. How? <laughs> How's fine. I think he's pretty boring, actually. Like, I like his design, but his whole thing is, I'm, I'm, let's just have fun, man. Let's eat malasadas. <laughs> C tier. C tier for can't take you seriously. Gladion is an S tier. Uh, I think Gladion is great. Gladion, Gladion, I don't know how you say his name, but this is a definition of fucking try hard, Mr. Emo, Mr. Ugh, like, his energy is so funny. What a little nerd. I want to give him a noogie. Hop from Sword and Shield. This is very, this is just how again <laughs> to me. His journey is a little more interesting though. So I'll say B tier. Like I think, you know, his sort of realization at the end of the game is, m that's cool. Like, okay, yeah, you, you, you kind of, I won't say what it is for those who haven't played it, but like that to me is more interesting than how, who's, I don't know, he's fine. Uh, Bead, uh, that's going to be an S tier. Uh, I love this. It's just Gladion with cotton candy hair. Again, I love little shitheads. I love little shitheads. I love his big purple coat and his tangly cotton candy hair. He screams about wanting to look serious, but he looks like that. And that's such a funny contrast, so S tier. Marnie, uh, that's an S tier. Uh, again, this one, I liked that this one had three different rivals, and they were all very different vibes. And Marnie's the sort of like serious, I like, again, kind of like almost like Charon, like, serious like but nice but serious and very sweet uh and i love the sort of punk rock look and the fact that she has like legions of fans following her around uh is a really funny concept as well uh, so that's gonna be an s tier i love marnie so it turns out i did beat and marnie and i think i gave beat a better score this time well you earned it clara uh this is a fun design like and she's just like a butterfly monster energy drink girl b tier i think it's funny avery <laughs> what a oh my god i want to i want to shove this kid in a locker they're the the shorts with the the, the cravat with the this the color this is uh the sheer audacity uh of this ugly ass design. It's almost funny, so it elevates it to a C. But boy, C for chump. What a fucking chump. All right, that was uh, all the uh, playable characters and rivals. If you'd like me to do other Pokemon related rankings, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.